Hello, my digital planner friends. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna go over how to customize pages. Maybe there's certain sections of the planner, like page that you don't like, how we can go ahead and give it some little tweaks. If this is something that you're interested in, please stick around and subscribe. If you're new here, my name is Brandy Reed with Three Nail Faith, where I create digital planners and digital stickers for Christian women. Go ahead and hit that like button if this is something that interests you. And let's go ahead and get started with this video. Okay, let's get on with this. We are going to learn how to, to change your planner. Say you do not like certain aspects of your daily planner, of your weekly, monthly, whatever. This video is gonna show you how to do that. So let's say, for example, you would like little, like see how I've got check, marks, check boxes here, but you also want some check boxes here. Make sure your lasso tools are all on. We're gonna zoom in and we're going to lasso around this, hold it, take a screenshot. Oh, that's a bad copy, copy. Let's see what it looks like. That looks terrible. We're not gonna do it that way. We are going to, let me zoom in. We're gonna, did you add a checkbox? We're going to make sure we're on black and we are just gonna draw a box. Hold, try again. Okay, there's our box. And we will lasso, drag it where we want, copy, paste. Now that other trick works a lot of different times, but apparently that did not work so well for that particular instance. So we've got four of them. We're going to copy. Okay, so now we have check boxes all across the side. Um, let's say you do not want the to-dos all down here, you would like, um, let's say, let's say you don't want, um, yeah, say you don't want this section down here. What you can do is you can come over to this white area, hold, take a screenshot, and you've got a little block, a little blank box. You're gonna come down and hit copy again and paste. Now you can just adjust this to whatever section area you would you want covered up. So let's say you only wanna have that many to-dos. Okay, I personally can see that. You may not be able to, but we're gonna move it over just a little bit and cover that up. Okay, so now I have a totally blank spot. And say I want to add in, hmm, what do I want to add in? I want to be able to add in, this is from our grandparents' day kit. I want to be able to add one of these in. So we copy. Now you could have easily just copied and pasted it in, but this is if you like want to draw or whatever. So and add that in now. We're gonna wanna make that a little bit bigger, so we're gonna go to the um, picture. And now we have our little box that we can use. Um, let's say, so the main thing you, would, you want to be able to do is remember to find a white area, lasso, take a screenshot, this little arrow up here, copy. And then that way you can cover up anything that you don't want anymore. You can cover it up and you can put whatever you want. So let's say you want, you don't want to do affirmations. You want to be able to just do notes there. So we covered that up and now we're going to go and do a text box and write notes. And now we're gonna lasso that and put that up there. So now we have notes up there instead of affirmations. 
Um, or same thing here, like you don't want this, maybe you don't want the steps. So we paste that big old box, just you can make it as small as you need it to be. We're gonna zoom in. Maybe you just want self-care there. So as you can see, you can easily change anything. Okay, here's another example. Let's say you want your gratitude. Um, let's say you want to do, remember our box is still there. We're gonna move that over here for just a second. You wanna have more than five gratitude, but you still wanna have your meals. So we'll show you what you do. You're going to come over here, screenshot. See, we screenshotted that whole area. Copy. So instead of all of this over here, we're going to move our meals down here. And we're going to stretch it out to fit. You may have to resize it a little bit if you want it to, to match up exactly as as it was before. Like if you liked the sizing. Okay, we're just gonna do that for right now. So we've got that down there. Now I want my gratitude. Copy. Oop. I must be copying in Take a screenshot, copy, paste. I kind of want my lines to match up like they were. Not perfect, but it would work. Okay. This is also how if you have a different, um, somebody else's maybe planner section that you really like theirs and you want to copy it in, this is how you can do it too. You can use any of your photos or anything like that. Okay, so I'm going to come over here, take out that. And then again, you can take all these and make them like six, seven, eight, nine, ten. if you wanted to do that. So you can see we moved the meals over here. We didn't need so many to-dos, but you wanted a lot of gratitude or you wanted whatever, anything. You really can easily change these. Um, say you don't want the, the weather up there. Oh. We're gonna lasso, take a screenshot, copy. Paste. And there, there's the weather's gone. Now maybe you have some weather stickers that you would like to just add whatever weather is. Or same thing with say down here, like I have copy. We have this line down here of faces. What if we didn't want to do that, but say we wanted to, we don't want to have all the faces, but we do have, let's see, we'll pull it from an element. My grandparents' day kit has either A, you can use this today's mood, and you could even just put that down there if you wanted, and it went wonky. Or, and there they are. We're gonna have a smiley face day. So you can just put that down there. Or you can even put it, you know, up here. You can put it with self care, today's win, anything you wanna do. Um, let's say, let me show you. Like, okay, here is my um, my free one month planner. Let's say it's just, see how it's got all of this here? We could have easily come in, 
copied. Ah, okay, we're gonna have to do just a smaller section. It's being wonky. Take a screenshot, so we have that. Copy, come back over to here and paste. So we can just easily paste it right in. Not that that's a very good job because we've obviously got all that. Or say you wanted, I don't think, I think everything else is the same. Oh, like we've got affirmation. We've got our little things over here. A little tinier. Copy. This came out clearer than the other ones. Anyway, or you can move it. Say you want it right here by the notes. Again, this is a free planner, um, so you can try out our style of planning. Um, you would just, on these ones, you would just circle the day. There's the fifth day, so you know it's the fifth day. And then you would have to write in your calendar here. Um, all of these are linked to where they go. Like this is week, Sunday week one. Sorry, it went to Monday week one on there one. Because I pushed the Monday one instead. Um, this is your meal planning. Sorry, your sermon. This is your meal planning for Sunday. Sunday start. And your meal planning for Monday start. So, yeah, if you wanted to try out um, a free planner, that is there. I'll, I'll link that in the description below for you as well. So that's basically how you can change out any anything on here. Let's see, we can go to, what should we go to? Like if you didn't like one of these, it's again one of those. I'm gonna turn my pen back on. Lasso, screenshot, copy, copy. Then if you'd like something I realized I learned, but you wanted to change it to something else, again, just Cover it up, and now you can write in whatever you want. Or say you needed a task or situation that I handled well, handled well, but you need some extra room, and you didn't want to do the other one. You can just copy that. Copy. Oh, we're copying the other thing again. I'll move this over here for a minute. You can screenshot, copy, copy. Paste. And then just get it as best as you can to line up. There you go. Now you have a much larger section that you can use to write. Um, let's see, what else could we come up with? Mm, oh, like this one. Um, Oh, that's the our lines. Say you wanted to do um, like week one, week two, week three, instead of like if you wanted to do this for a whole month, you could just block block these out so it's not saying breakfast, lunch, dinner. And then you could write in your days. So let's see, September started. So September starts on a Thursday. So you would come over and just write, you know, one, two, three, four, five. And then you have and then you could write in like Tuesday you're having chicken nuggets or, or whatever. So that way you can have a running total of, or not running total, like a running um, list of everything that you ate in the month. So you're not eating the same things all the time. That's what we use it for. And of course I use it for my grocery list as well. Um, I'm just trying to come up with different ways that you can use different things you can change. I think that is about it. 
basic thing is just white areas. Lasso it. Um, hit the little, that little up button and then hit copy and then paste. So that is how you would use this. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can learn all these new digital tricks. See you next time. Bye for now.